today we will see what is a governor so let us see what is uh, mean by a governor so this governor is a device which is used to measure and regulate the speed of machines so governor is used in machineries as well as maximum used in automobiles just to regulate or control the speed of machineries or speed of engine in a vehicle it is a device used in machinery to control the speed or to regulate the speed governor will actuate the mechanism in such a way that the more fuel will be supplied when uh, there is a load on the engine and speed decreases and less fuel will be supplied when there is no load on the engine means the speed of the engine is increases so this is the main function of governor to supply the working fluid to the engine as per the load condition so let's see how the governor is classified it is classified as centrifugal governor which is further classified into pendulum type and loaded type a wad governor is there the loaded type governor is classified into two types dead weight governors and spin control governors then dead weight governors are classified into porter governors and proil governor the speed control governor is a classified into four types these are the four types hartnell governor harton governor wilson hartnell governor and pickering governor if you make this flow chart at once it will be easily remember yahan pe aayega centrifugal governor jisko hum logo ne classify kiya loaded type and a pendulum type uske baad mein wad governor then loaded type is a dead weight type and a spring control dead weight mein fir do aate hain प्रोटर एंड प्रोइल गवर्नर और स्प्रिंग कंट्रोल में आते हैं चार हार्टनेल गवर्नर हार्टन गवर्नर विल्सन हार्टनेल एंड पिकरिंग गवर्नर सो दिस इज द क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ गवर्नर तो हम लोगों ने अभी तक देखा व्हाट इज अ गवर्नर व्हाट इज द फंक्शन ऑफ गवर्नर एंड हाउ गवर्नर्स आर क्लासिफाइड सो लेट एस सी द कंस्ट्रक्शन एंड वर्किंग ऑफ अ सेंट्रिफिकल गवर्नर सेंट्रिफिकल गवर्नर्स के पहले हम लोग पार्ट्स देख लेते हैं तो क्या क्या आता है इसमें दिस इज सेंट्रल स्पिंडल ओके द ड्राइव टू दिस स्पिंडल इज गिवन फ्रॉम द इंजिन थ्रू द बेवल गेयर मतलब इंजिन जब रोटेट होगा तो बेवल गेयर रोटेट होंगे ये क्या करेंगे स्पिंडल को घुमा देने वाले ओके द स्पिंडल ऑन विच स्पिंडल ऑन विच टू आर्म्स आर कनेक्टेड और टू आर्म्स आर प्योटेड एट दिस पॉइंट दीज आर दू लिंक्स विच आर कनेक्टेड एट वन एंड विद द आर्म्स आर्म्स के एक एंड पे लिंक को कनेक्ट कर दिया और दूसरा लिंक का एंड कनेक्ट किया है स्लीव को these are the two fly balls now this is sleeve this pink color portion isko kya karenge this is called as a sleeve this sleeve is connected through bell crank lever with the throttle valve now this is the throttle valve in the passage through which we can supply the fuel quantity which we can supply the fuel to the engine cylinder okay now this is a throttle valve This throttle valve is operated by means of the bell crank lever. अभी generally क्या होता है देखो हम लोग simple language में देखेंगे पहले कि sleeve will move up and down. Sleeve अगर ऊपर जाता है तो bell crank lever throttle valve को operate करता है Sleeve अगर नीचे आता है so the bell crank lever will also operate the throttle valve. मतलब this mechanism is wholly used to control the uh, throttle valve through which we can control the quantity of fuel supplied okay so this is about the construction these are the two stoppers okay which will restrict the uh, upward movement downward movement of the sleeve ye iske upar nahi jayega iske niche nahi aayega stoppers these are the two s s r the two stoppers so this is about the construction of centrifugal governor now let us see the working of centrifugal governor now when we start the engine the spindle will rotate now the spindle will rotate when the spindle rotates this fly ball move will move uh, the fly ball will move in outward direction obviously because of the centrifugal force okay now this will operate in two conditions when there is a load on the engine and when there is no load on the engine ओके सो हम लोग पहले देखेंगे व्हेन देर इज लोड ऑन द इंजिन 
load on the engine so during the load condition the speed of a governor decreases speed agar decrease hota hai so the fly ball will move downward okay and obviously when the fly ball moves downward okay the sleeve will also move downward when the sleeve moves downward okay speed reduce hua hai iska matlab load aa chuka hai vehicle ke upar so we have to overcome that load at that time we need maximum quantity of fuel so that the speed of engine can be maintained so this sleeve will move downward sleeve downward move hota hai so this will operate the throttle valve which will open and the quant maximum quantity of or more quantity of fuel will be supplied through this passage to the engine so this is the load condition now when there is no load condition no load condition matlab agar vehicle highway pe chal raha hai so at that time there is no need of more fuel okay so it means that the speed will be more increase in speed is there when the vehicle is running at high speed in a no load condition so the fly ball will move outward maximumly so when the fly ball will move outward maximumly the sleeve will move up it will operate the bell crank lever and thus operate the throttle valve and and it will partially close the throttle valve so that low quantity of fuel will be supplied to the engine so in this way this centrifugal hook governor will control the quantity of fuel and thus help to maintain the speed of vehicle or speed of engine constant now let us see the second type of governor that is porter governor this is called as पोर्टर गवर्नर अगर आप लोग देखते हो तो पोर्टर गवर्नर का कंस्ट्रक्शन यहाँ पे दिस इज कॉड एज अव दिस इज अ वर्टिकल स्पिंडल तो आप लोगों को पता ही अभी वर्टिकल स्पिंडल को कहाँ से ड्राइव आता है फ्रॉम इंजिन थ्रू द बेवल गेयर ओके सो दिस इज वर्टिकल स्पिंडल टू आर्म्स टू फ्लाई बॉल्स आर कनेक्टेड दीज आर टू लिंक्स लिंक्स यहाँ पे स्लीव को कनेक्ट किए नाउ दिस इज द एडिशनल वेट एडेड हियर दैट इज कॉड एज अ सेंट्रल लोड एंड दिस इज द मेजर डिफरेंस बिटवीन द प्रीवियस सेंट्रिफिकल गवर्नर एंड द पोर्टर गवर्नर दैट्स वाई इट इज कॉड एज लोडेड टाइप ऑफ गवर्नर ओके सो इट इज द मॉडिफिकेशन ऑफ दैट सेंट्रिफिकल और वैट गवर्नर वेर वेर Uh, we can say the central load is attached to this sleeve this is the central load attached to the sleeve now this load will move up and down with the sleeve on the spindle with the sleeve on the spindle so this is the governor modified governor uh, modification of centrifugal governor so that's why it can be used for high speed so this is the first high speed governor dead weight governor is the first high speed governor with the central load here so it can be used for increase speed and which uh, in a case of watt governor is not possible and that is the main defect of that watt governor so to overcome that defect so this is the porter governor which is a high speed governor so this is called as a uh, high speed governor called as a porter governor now now let's see let's see the third type of governor that is a called as a proil governor so proil governor and porter governor both are of the same type the only difference is between these two is in case of a design only thoda sa design change kiya hai isme otherwise if we go one by one point everything will be similar the difference is this one the balls are attached on the short link fitted at the intersection of lower and upper arm the balls required are of smaller size here this is a short link f b and g c now this is the short link on which at the end of which these two fly balls are connected so this is the difference between porter governor and proil governor these balls are connected at the junction of these two arm and the link okay here but in port in proil governor these are connected on the shorter link at point b and c okay so this is about the proil governor otherwise the remaining parts of proil and uh, obviously here is the central load okay this central load mounted on the spindle this uh, central load is connected with the sleeve as as well as these are the two arms these are the two links and working will be similar okay so obviously these are also used for controlling the 
fluid supplied to the engine so this is about the two type of governors which one centrifugal governor and the porter governor and the proil governor so ye ho gaya governor ka function this will operate only in the condition of load condition and no load condition फिर से मैं रिपीट कर रहा हूँ अगर अगर समझो स्पीड कम होता है इट मीन्स दैट देर इज लोड ऑन द इंजिन सो मैक्सिमम क्वांटिटी ऑफ फ्यूल विल सप्लाई स्पीड कम होता है तो फ्लाई बॉल्स नीचे आते हैं स्लीव मूव होता है डाउनवर्ड डायरेक्शन में सो द थ्रोटल वॉल विल ओपन सप्लाई द क्वांटिटी ऑफ फ्यूल मोर क्वांटिटी ऑफ फ्यूल और फ्लूड वर्किंग फ्लूड टू द इंजिन एंड वाइस वर्सा वेन द स्पीड विल बी मोर सो द स्लीव विल मूव अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन अपवर्ड डायरेक्शन सो एट दैट टाइम द थ्रोटल वॉल विल पार्शियली क्लोज एंड लो क्वांटिटी ऑफ फ्यूल विल बी सप्लाइड टू द इंजिन सो दिस पोर्शन ऑफ ईच एंड एवरी गवर्नर विल बी सिमिलर ऑनली चेंज इन दिस अपर डायग्राम ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द सेंट्रिफिकल गवर्नर पोर्टर गवर्नर एंड प्रोइल गवर्नर नाउ लेटेस्ट सी इन दिस वीडियो हाउ द सेंट्रिफिकल गवर्नर विल वर्क okay so here there is a low speed now at that low speed means there is a load on the engine so speed of governor is decrease so this wall will open horizontally will be uh, horizontal so maximum quantity of working fluid will be supplied now now observe that it is going to be close partially how it is because now the speed is increased so when the speed is increased the sleeve will move upward direction and the wall will be partially closed so this is slower down okay slower down wall will open if the speed increases the wall will be partially closed this wall will be partially closed now high speed okay high speed means there is no load on the engine okay high speed this will be closing so this will show that how the governor will work now in other type of governor only the difference is in the design but the working principle will be the similar one okay so this is about the centrifugal governor so in the same way we will uh, go for the other type of governors also so by this we can understand we will understand the concept of governor okay so these are the constructive parts of the governor so we will stop here thank you very much now i think you are well aware with what is mean by a governor and what are the types of governor then function of governor how it will work all these things so thank you very much